I am ready to head off to another adventure. This time going to France and not driving, going by plane. I'm off skiing. So I don't know how this will turn out. Getting some lessons, but still not 100% sure how it will turn out. Going to my friend Dominic and Maria's place. From there, we're going to go to the airport at I think 4 a.m. in the morning or something stupid. But that's how we roll these days. Crazy times. I actually need a break between my holidays. <laughs> it's so bad. I have arrived to my friend's place. Dominic and Marisha. Shall I change clothes once you... They're making food. To I'm going to have nice home-cooked food. And then we're going to get some sleep and leave very early in the morning. Woke up at half past two this morning. Very, very ungodly hours. These days I'm not doing well with my travel plans. So, waiting for my friends to come down those stairs. We're at the airport, just checked in all that luggage. You need to be in the video, stop making faces. <laughs> Nah. Yes, the nice lady at the check-in desk checked in my... She had terrible hair. Yeah, I know she had bad hair, but she was very sweet. She took my hand luggage and checked it in for free, so I don't have to carry my ski boots and other stuff with me. Now you have your friendly Salomon bag on your back. You should be grateful. If you speed up, you'll miss your flight. Why would we miss our flights? They said we should wait for you Tom. You're lazy and yeah, very slow. We should wait for Tom. Where's Tom? We have to go. Maybe you I should upload him. this video and then he'll guess it online. The thing is, I called Tom. Tom has this problem of not answering his phone. So I think if he misses his flight because of that, then there's nothing we can do. I have never been able to call him, not even once. Whenever I call him, he never answers. And he'll call me back later. We are now going to go and find our friend who went in before us somewhere. So, where are we going? We're looking for coronavirus. I thought we were looking for Budweiser. <laughs> Currently at Joe and the Juice. Getting some coffee and some sandwiches before the flight. Flight is ready to board. Everyone's going in, except me. I'm waiting for the other two who've gone to the loo at the last minute. How do you feel? Awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. The giant tall man is... Giant Robert. Well, I slept for two hours last night. If that, yeah. I've just got one of those things that firstly I can't even sleep even though I'm really tired. Yeah. But then keep <laughs> talking, I'll be pretending it's you. <laughs> yeah, it's just like voice coming out of behind my head and That's okay. Uh, it's, 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 that's, that's okay. I've really I've really discussed my uh, lack of sleep and excitement for the lady fights. You know what? Yesterday at number four. Can you stop this? this? Or do the big child. Then when we do get going for a special very short cut seat on the ground here, so I've got five. So we'll take us. Do you want to sit next to us? Off to the west initially. We'll make the left turn back on ourselves to come to our cruising line. I'm fine here. This is 2,000 feet and an estimated flight time. Fixing the world's problems. And on the other side. And on the other side. Drunkards. Yeah. Eat, sleep, repeat. <laughs> well, we've been on the plane for an hour and a bit, and we're going to land in half an hour. So, 
haven't traveled by air for a trip for so long it feels a bit strange but fun because I'm with four friends or three friends and myself so enjoying it <laughs> I just spread a coronavirus here <laughs> No, I'm not going to do anything with your hair, you'll kill me. Come on! Well, my hair is flat and horrible anyway, it doesn't matter. Even not to say no, thank you, you not. Listen, if you decide to post all of this, we're not going with you anywhere. Yeah, actually, that's, 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 the, that's, the, that's the thing, yeah. you need to actually be screened whatever. I mean, I haven't signed anything. Bro, you, you don't need you anymore, go over there. That's the luggage Tom is bringing. Yeah. And he's like, like, oh, man. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. there's okay. two little yeah. luggage yeah. size, little backpacks, but that and wait until we see mine, I have loads of stuff. My luggage has arrived, that, and this, so much. We need to redo the recording because you recorded me the wrong bag. So Tom was planning to steal someone's bag until the woman came and caught him. So now he's got his own bag. And unfortunately, I felt really sorry about it. Okay, I'm being told off for slowing everyone down. Yay! We're here, but now we have to find a transport to take us to the ski resort. Normally. I'm driving everywhere, so I'm not used to this kind of stuff, but my friends have booked everything, arranged everything, so I hopefully don't have to worry about it. Finally made it to the chalet. It's uh, not sunny outside, but there's a lot of glare from the snow, so my face looks overexposed, but this is what it looks like outside. It's very quiet and calm. Not many people, as you can see the lift's pretty much empty. So the room looks okay. It's and my friends are making fun of me that I'm filming already. You can stop filming, what the fuck? You're gonna be- You have to go and buy your boots, stop filming. You know that now to film here is because of the security reasons. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Don't think about it, it's a camera in my hand. I okay. did from a distance. And then it's not my fault. Then go. Okay, I'm That's your fault. Because it's Sunday. Oh, you know what? I think you were the same one. Good, no? <laughs> <laughs> Children are hitting me with snowballs. Oh, that was close. Whoa. Oh. So I don't want to be anywhere oh. close to you, Ethan, because you're like oh, really right. That was a good one. Right. Babe, right. hit him back. Yeah. Hit him back. No, I mean, I put my gloves on, so... <laughs> you're getting waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> and the gloves are too cold. You are too old to throw. I'm surrounded by big children. It feels like summer coming day. <laughs> so this is Thomas. Hello. One everyone. of my friends that I see once every six months, even though he's one of my greatest friends, but Aww. he's terrible at making any plans. Okay, I'm, ever um, I'm sorry, but Ethan, <laughs> you're mostly outside of London, so it's very hard to catch you in London because you either live in Stockholm or Vienna or God knows where. So I don't know. Well, it's, is it my fault? It's partially your fault. Exactly. It's always two people's fault. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I like that statement. <laughs> hey, everyone. One more. Complaining really like... day one. I like the shops. They have a lot of stuff. And look at that kid. He no. looks so cool carrying his stuff. I need to look that cool. They're making fun of me because I'm too bothered about how I look and I said I want to look good when I'm dying, that falling down the slope, so simple as that.